Hello. In this video, let's look at a few enhancements that have been made to revisualizations. First, let's create a project using the sample order lines dataset. Let's select a few attributes and add it as a pivot table into the canvas. We now have the option of resizing the rows and columns of the pivot table by clicking and dragging along the border. The same is possible in a table as well. Let's duplicate this pivot, make it as a table visualization and you see that the column resize option is available here as well. Any resizing that you do is saved when you save the project and is available next time you reopen the project. Next, let's look at the enhancements to the waterfall whisk. We now have the option of modifying the default colors of a waterfall whisk. Let's begin by creating a whisk by adding a few columns. In the whisk properties, you now have the option of modifying the default increase, decrease and start colors of the bars. Clicking on this brings up the standard color palette using which you can change the colors that indicate increase or decrease of metric value. In all the visualizations, you can now change the transparency setting of the background color as well as background image, thereby giving you more control over how you want to format your background images. Let's set a background color. Let's change the transparency level. Let's upload a background image. Let's align the image to the center of the screen. And we have the image transparency setting as well, which can be modified with the WIS properties. Thanks for watching this video.